very good evening all of you i hope you are having a happy sunday so in this video um, um i am going to talk about a mixture of things okay first of all um of course i'm going to talk about the opportunities that are available or that have been recently advertised but apart from that i want you to be a little more independent and be able to find out opportunities for yourself of course it would need some time and effort but uh uh it would be really fruitful okay so first of all uh, a lot of you ask for internships and even though i sir indian institute of science and educational research indian institute of technology tata institute of fundamental research have their own internships but right now due to the uncertainty uh, because of the pandemic they have not really taken out any not notifications or they haven't advertised any notifications i was just going through linkedin and i was able to find one internship a very interesting one especially someone who is interested in the computational sciences or computational chemistry okay so there is this um uh, company called quantizyme this is a uh, i think it's it's a new company i have not really researched about it uh, but i i am guessing it's a new company and uh, so what you have to do they have a internship opportunity and they have two internships available with them so if you go if you just uh type on uh, google quantizymes bangalore and even i'll give you the link in the description box and if you just click on careers over here um you know once the career tab opens up you will see there's written over here internships in bengaluru okay and when you click on this um this particular um page will open up and as you can see over here requirement is of two location is bangalore and uh, what they want is someone who's pursuing a bachelor's or a master's degree in bioinformatics biotechnology computers mathematics chemistry um, you know all these fields okay so this is a good um, like this would be a good internship for some of you who want to really um, know about the real uh, problems that can be solved using computational chemistry or computational Uh, studies right um and uh, so you can apply for this particular internship provided again see when you are applying for something of course a lot of students will apply for it so you have to have something which is uh you can say uh, which defines you in the sense that which is different from the rest of the candidates maybe you have some project work in computational sciences or if you have some kind of if you have grades which are exceptional or something else okay so you need to really see what really works for you for example in this particular case if you have some experience in coding or if you have some experience in uh, machine learning for example or if you have really good grades in quantum mechanics then it makes sense to apply because as you can see over here they who will be interested in in silico protein structure molecular docking molecular dynamics quantum mechanics and machine learning so it's a really good opportunity you can apply for this internship and i have mentioned how you can reach up to this website okay so this was one thing the second thing is like uh for research experience even your project positions are calculated as or are considered as research experience okay so a um, lot of you do ask me about project positions and i have actually mentioned what exactly are project positions and you will find the link of that video somewhere over here i'll give you the link to that video okay and why this research experience is important for example if i consider iocl okay uh, now iocl is a public psu wherein you need at, i think 2 years of experience and a good gate score to apply okay so how do you get this 2 years of experience you need to work in a either industry or in a research lab which is something which has something to do with petrochemicals right so there are some institutes in dehradun and there is one institute of csir i think in haridwar which uh, deals with petrochemicals okay so what generally students do is they work over there for a couple of years get that research experience the minimum eligibility to apply for iocl and of course a not a lot of students have that um, you know don't have that um, or don't meet the eligibility criteria because of which the competition is filtered out and it becomes much more easier to get into these psus okay so that is why research experience is important or project or working in project positions is important now for example there's a very uh, one of the most premier institutes uh, related to chemistry um uh, is ncl csr ncl which is in pune so if you go to their website that is national chemical laboratory i'll again give you the link over here so they always post about these project positions over here as you can see um i again i like i said you will find the link in the description box for this okay so they constantly post about the project positions that are available uh, on their website so as you can see the latest one they have posted is on 12th march 2021 so you don't have to uh, depend upon my notifications or any other websites notification you can directly after every week check out their a uh, website and see if they have project position so every institute advertises their project positions it is a mandate by the government of india so similarly 
you can also go to other institutes for example you if you are interested in w working in a project position in iit similarly I, every iit will have its own website wherein they will have to post about project positions uh, like indian institute of chemical technology that is in hyderabad so they also frequently advertise project positions and you will have to individually go to their website and see for these but this is something that you can do on your own and i i believe that is much better because you are independent in some manner so uh, as you can see over here they have pr uh, posted about a project position on 12th march about catalysis and inorganic chemistry and if you click on this job title um see this is giving you the idea of what exactly it is about so you can read the advertisement as well and they want either msc in organic chemistry or b b tech in chemical engineering and you can uh, you know read the details about that advertisement by clicking over here okay so i'm not going to go into that but you can apply and the deadline is 19th of march okay so similarly they keep posting about it about these things like in physical and materials chemistry they have posted about the research associate position on 10th of march and then polymer science and engineering on 25th february so you can just have a look um over here up related to the project positions now i know something about ncl that uh, a lot of my uh, juniors or my colleagues have worked uh, worked in project positions in ncl and what they have told me that they did not have any internal contacts so it was purely that their interview went really well and they were able to um uh, secure a position so that's why i'm recommending there are some institutes um which kind of like have their own internal setting so to say like what example what happens is they already have a candidate but since the government of india has made it mandatory or csr or whichever is the funding body they have made it mandatory to carry out these interviews so these interviews are just carried out for for the sake of the um for for the sake of the uh, criteria that has been laid out but they have already shortlisted the candidate but uh, at least for csi institutes i have seen that you have a very good chance of actually getting a position based on your merit rather than some internal setting that is going on so that's why i generally uh, would recommend you to apply for uh, you know vacancies in the csr institute as it is the number of vacancies are very large so that is why that is also one of the reasons why the internal setting does not really work because you you cannot have internal setting for 40 45 students you can have one or two students with which you have some uh, personal relationship because of which you are considering that student in the lab but apart from that if you have 30 35 positions or 10 positions or 15 positions and then you have a very good chance of of getting into an institute based on your merit okay the second oh, sorry the third thing that i want to talk about is see um i have actually taken an interview as well with one of the um candidates from uh, or one of the professionals from mrf okay again i'll give you the link to that video in the um description box not in the description box also and over here on on the uh, top right corner wherein he mentioned that uh, sometimes what happens is students join a um, join an industry right after bsc and once they do that uh, they pursue a masters uh, from a distance learning okay they pursue a masters in chemistry and they keep holding on to that job okay so that is also one thing that you can consider for example uh, just i think at, uh, about a couple of videos back i had made a video on how you can look for opportunities in sinjin so this is another opportunity that has come up in bangalore again uh, which is related to chemistry and over here they have asked for bachelor's degree in chemistry just bsc in chemistry with the experience of 0 to 3 years that means a fresher can also apply now i agree maybe the amount of salary that you might get after a bsc degree might be very, very less but the experience is something that is really counted in the industry so once you have that experience let's say even if you have one year experience there are a lot of jobs that are offered by very good companies uh, but they require experience and as a fresher you don't have that opportunity so even if you can cons you can consider going for these jobs see you have to do some research by yourself as well but you can consider going for these jobs because once you have that one year experience and maybe you can have two years experience and uh, side by side you can do a distance learning in uh, or masters in chemistry and after that you can actually apply for positions where they ask for experience like two years or three years because you've already worked over here for example if i uh, show you uh, this this recent advertisement by pfizer um now this uh, advertisement i found on uh, linkedin 
okay now what is linkedin i'll talk about it in just a bit that is again the fourth point that i want to make which is very important with respect to getting job opportunities so as you can see over here this is again something to do with chemistry you would be working as a i think as a senior associate scientist and in the qualifications what are they asking for master's degree in chemistry with one to three years of experience okay so what you what a lot of students do and what was told Uh, by the professional i had interviewed who was working in mrf the scientist who was working in mrf was that a lot of students what they do after bachelors only they start working and they do masters in distance learning masters in chemistry from from uh, like a distance course and then of course they build up the experience also for example if you go for this opportunity for example and you work over here for 2 years and do your masters simultaneously so you have 2 years of experience plus you have a masters in masters degree in chemistry and then automatically automatically you can apply for these companies and once you have the experience and as as you build up the experience in the industry your salary keeps on growing exponentially okay so that is why a lot of students or a lot of professionals favor industry over academia because in academia for example if you join as a faculty member there are only three basic positions one is assistant professor associate and professor right uh, that's all and maybe you can go ahead and become a dean or a director but with um, with industry there are a lot of opportunities to grow and uh, what you would see is professionals after getting some decent experience they switch uh, very often because they get so many opportunities of uh, of maybe a higher pay or a better position or a better company but provided you have the initial experience so it's only difficult at the starting point when you are fresher so what you can think about is getting some uh, op- getting some experience or working for a lower salary so to say which might not be considered good by you but then once you have that experience then you can demand salary as per your terms as well and the fourth thing about linkedin is see on why you need to have a um account on linkedin is because uh or you would find a lot of opportunities a lot of internships there are a lot of filters available and it's a very good a very good professional setting where you can network with with a lot of professionals and when you are networking what i mean by networking is basically connecting with them so or following them so that whatever notifications they have or you know like for example the hr managers so basically they keep posting about jobs or talent acquisition managers they also keep posting about jobs so you can find out talent acquisition managers or um, hr managers of particular companies okay you can actually search about it that um, you can just go to the section on linkedin where you can search and you can just type talent acquisition manager of singen for example or hr manager of pfizer and you know you will get the list of professionals who are on linkedin who are um, basically working with pfizer as hr managers or any other company like johnson and johnson whichever company you are looking for which works in the area of your expertise and then you can connect with them or you can follow them okay and if you want to connect with them Uh, or if you want to get into their professional network you cannot just send a connect request because they don't know you okay so why would they accept your request you have to write a short message on why you want to connect with them you can write like um i am a student in so and so institute and i'm looking i'm actively looking for job opportunities and i think it would be a good uh, like it would be i would be really humbled if you can accept my connection request so that i can do, uh, know about a lot of other job opportunities so something of that sort you have to write something you just don't have to send a request you have to write a message because they don't know you so why would they accept a request until and unless um they see that okay this candidate is really uh, looking forward to uh, pursuing or is look really actively looking for some opportunity so they also need to know that yes you are willing to put in an effort to join that particular um you know to get a job opportunity so these are some things that you can do for getting more opportunities and like i said um, if i keep getting more and more notifications or whenever i get on any notification about any job be it government or private i especially for fr- uh, freshers i would definitely try and help you out by making a video about it so anyway if you're finding this videos helpful um just do one thing just let me know down in the comment section i'll be really grateful So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video really soon. I'm teaching live on the Unacademy platform in the CSR UGC net category where I'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses. So if you want to get access to the free classes all you have to do is download the Unacademy app 
and when joining the CSR UGC net category you have to use the unlock code that is SETHI this is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes while if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription there is a subscription fee for that and if you want some discount on the subscription fee you can use the referral code SETHI this will give you 10% discount on top of that you will also get access to the my whatsapp group where I frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things in addition with the plus subscription what all benefits you are going to get well you can watch all my sessions apart from that you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the CSR UGC net category you will also get a frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well so if you're interested in joining the plus platform you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes do not forget to use these referral codes uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes.